This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. For the better part of a year, we've been subject as Americans to the blustery manner with which Republicans have lied about Joe Biden and fabricated using Russian intelligence, Russian disinformation, um, a plot against Joe Biden. And they're introducing this as some kind of a, 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 a dead to right scandal. We caught him. And now with subsequent reporting and an indictment and charges against this Alexander Smirnoff, we're learning that the entire case was predicated upon Russian intelligence services disinformation. I, I'm kind of repeating myself there. But it is amazing to, 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 <laughs> to make the realization as a thinking, cogent human being aware of video Apparently, Republicans don't have this ability to recognize that when you have a microphone in front of your face and a camera pointed at you, that you're being recorded for posterity's sake. And what I'm getting ready to show you is a series of clips. I've got four clips here. One is uh, James Comer talking about just how important the testimony the FBI interviews of this FBI informant Alexander Smirnoff was to their case. So much so that he was willing to press for Christopher Ray, the director of the FBI, to go to prison. That's just how important this, case, this, this man's disinformation spreading was. This is just how important the information he was bringing to them was, that he was willing to imprison the director of the FBI. Then I've got a, a mashup of Republicans telling you just how important it is. And then it's all going to unravel because yesterday, all of a sudden, oh, what? That, that guy doesn't have anything important. Who is, who's that? We don't, no, come on. That's not, that's not right. <laughs> uh, Jessica Tarloff said yesterday on Fox News that the threshold for humiliation that Republicans seem to have is unheralded. That's not exactly what she said, but it was something like that. And it's pretty true. So first, here's James Comer talking to uh, Harris Faulkner, uh, one of the straight news people on Fox News, uh, about jailing the director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation over this matter. Is an important part of our investigation. If Christopher Ray doesn't turn over that document, is he going to go to prison? Well, that's up to Christopher Ray. I know that I wouldn't want to be held in contempt of Congress and uh, end up in prison being the former head of the FBI. Look, the clip begins with him saying this is an important part of our investigation. <laughs> Willing to imprison a high ranking um, law enforcement official in our country. Now, I'm going to talk about this later, but the reason they didn't, the FBI, it seems, didn't want to turn this over is because it was a nothing item. It was the, not substantiated, or they didn't have the ability to substantiate. It couldn't be corroborated. Even the witness couldn't prove the things he was saying. He didn't bring receipts. He had no flight records for being there. He had no phone records for calling these people, making the claims that he was claiming. But Republicans, they got a little hint, a little sniff of what they could blow up into a, make a mountain out of a molehill and make something out of nothing, and they ran with it. And now it's crumbling. Here is a mashup of several Republicans screaming from the rooftops, we need this, this is important, this is critical to our effort to impeach the President of the United States. House Oversight Chairman James Comer says he and his colleagues plan to drop a bombshell. It's going to be judgment day tomorrow for the White House. You have the confidential FBI informant who's basically saying that Joe Biden took five million dollars from Burisma. The informant was a you know, highly valued human source for the FBI. A trusted, highly credible informant. A trusted, confidential informant. They had a they credible source, one of their good sources. Their most credible paid FBI informant. We uh, have determined that whistleblower is extremely credible. The details come from an FBI informant who is very trusted. A highly reliable informant that has always checked out all the information he's ever given us has checked out. A confidential human source that had been reliable previously to the FBI. The confidential human source gave credible information. This FD-1023 is damning. 
I do a podcast three days a week, Verdict with Ted Cruz. The podcast has gone into the details. This is a very crucial piece of our investigation. Yeah, it's a crucial piece. Uh, the, the, the informant is very credible, extremely credible, most credible, highly credible, highly trusted, highly valued. <laughs> this is a bombshell. This is a judgment day for the White House, James Comer said in that clip. Very important to them. It seems the linchpin of their effort to impeach and remove from office a sitting United States president. And now that we're learning that the information that they was highly credible, very trusted, linchpin, bombshell, judgment day, was all predicated upon information fed to them, their unwitting, maybe witting accomplices of the Russian intelligence services here, but it was fed to them by Russian disinformation intelligence officers. Now, oh no, that's not important. Not a big deal. Here's James Comer. End of the day, uh, with with respect to the FBI informant that Christopher Ray told Jamie, you're asking me, Charles Grassley, Jim Jordan was one of their most trusted, highest paid informants with the bureau for over a decade. You know, yep. the, the at the at the end of the day, he wasn't an important part of this investigation because I didn't even know who he was. All I knew was there was a 1023 that alleged bribery. My investigation is about all the money the Bidens have taken from China, from Romania, from for nothing, uh, Kazakhstan, for, no, for, from nothing, Russia, for in nothing in return. For, for nothing. nothing. This in guy return. had absolutely nothing yeah, to do with it. Crazy. We got a tip. We investigate. We couldn't figure out who it was. Sharon. Oh, what a difference a day makes, am I right? Oh, what a, they said he was very trusted. They said he was very credible. They said that. It, wait, we just heard you say in several different forms just how credible and trusted he was. You said that, James Comer, but now it's, oh, no, no, they, they said it. It wasn't, what, it's not important. He's not important to our investigation. The end of the day, not important, says James Comer. <laughs> well, if you think this one was good, wait for this last one. This is Jim Jordan, who just gets wrecked by a reporter, metaphorically speaking, of course, explaining how it's not important and it's not material to this investigation. The facts remain, with the reporter telling him, well, no, the facts don't remain because the, they're not facts. They're fed to you by Russia propaganda ministers. Watch this. Regardless of what this, said, uh, this confidential that, human source has said. You said that this informant now charged with some of the most corroborating evidence. You said that in an interview. Last yeah, it, it did corroborate what, what I just said there, but it doesn't change the facts. But those, the, his, those allegations from the FD 1023 are now found to all be lies. So how does that impact the investigation? I think you should ask the, the, you should ask the FBI why they were so reluctant. <laughs> They told us if, if we don't, uh, when we wanted to see the 1023, they said this could jeopardize national security, the safety of this confidential human source. You can't know his name. They didn't want to show it to us. Then they finally did. I mean, this is a guy they paid, I think, since 2010. So 14 years they've been paying this guy. Um, and he's a trusted source. And now we find out. Either. Plus, I think there's sort of the, you know, when Christopher Steele lied to the FBI about uh, President Trump, he gets paid more. When... Smirnoff lies to the FBI about President Biden. No, oh, he gets indicted. I mean, go figure. So um, it doesn't change the, the fundamental facts. It doesn't, it doesn't change the facts. It does change the facts. Those are no longer facts. Those are not, those are not true. The four things I just said, they're absolutely true. It's just, listen, if this wasn't such a danger to our democracy uh, and overwhelmingly uh, uh, a problem, it, it would be a little funny because they can't find their own assholes with two hands and a flashlight, the Republican Party. Every time they turn around their, their machinations, their political machinations to try to protect Donald Trump and get him back into the White House, just crumble all around them. It doesn't change the fundamental facts. The fact that a Russian intelligence agent was feeding you information doesn't change the facts. And the reporter says, doesn't change the facts. It does change the facts because they're no longer facts. Sometimes brevity 
is what you need. What is it? Brevity is the soul of wit? What's the, what's the, what's the saying? Not a sayings guy, as you probably well know. I mean, I'm talking about Republicans finding their assholes with two hands and a flashlight. Not a, not a titan of... of uh... <laughs> anyway. What do you think about this? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail. A brief one, please. 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me as always, as always, as always, daily at dollamore.com. Please consider supporting this work. For $2 a month, you can join the, the, the Patreon family by going to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. You can join the channel membership family by clicking the join button below for two bucks a month. You can hit the super thanks button, but make sure, please, if you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. I'm trying to get to 600,000 subscribers by the end of, uh, in just briefly here, there's normally the end of anything. Um, and I would appreciate it very much. Follow me on the social medias. I am at uh, Dollamore on Twitter and Instagram threads, TikTok, Facebook, Blue Sky. If you're there, I'm there at Dollamore. Look me up. Uh, I'll see you next time. Be genuine. Take care of one another.